Hey guys, welcome to this lecture. So in this video, we will see how to create custom categories and apply packet captures in Palo Alto firewalls. So uh, if you go to objects here, just scroll it down and uh, you will see URL category. These are the custom uh, objects you can create. Similarly for vulnerabilities, spyware and data patterns, if you want to apply the DLP. So click on add and uh, here just give it a name custom category right and uh, you can add the site let's say I want to block uh, support dot cisco dot com right I want to block uh, learn dot ngcloudx.com right so uh, you can create the wildcard entries like star dot uh, cisco dot com you know you can also create regex based app uh, entries like uh, star dot cisco dot com star and all that stuff right and you can have forward slash you know all these things so you can create this uh, site list here then you can click ok and in your URL filtering policy you can have this custom category and uh, you can define the action to block so whatever action you want to define you can define here you can click OK so basically what we have done we have not blocked the complete uh, cisco.com or uh, ngcloudx we have just blocked there uh, particular subdomains similarly uh, if you have particular video in YouTube and if you want to block the specific URI so you can just copy that complete uh, URL from that website and you can uh, paste it here and do the block right so let's do the test once this uh, uh, com commit is done meanwhile uh, if you go to policy right we will apply the packet captures as well so if you are doing the troubleshooting and uh, if you need to understand what is happening with my user traffic right so in Palo Alto there are four stages you know in which you can apply the packet capture so it's like uh, receive transmit firewall and drop right so let me explain you how these four stages work so this is like this so you have your firewall this is ethernet 1 by 2 interface this is ethernet 1 by 1 interface traffic coming in right and traffic going out so if you are applying receive stage rx right and if you are applying it on on the entire firewall so whatever traffic is coming towards the firewall will be captured inside this stage right or if you are applying it on a specific interface so whatever traffic is coming towards that particular interface on the firewall that will be captured in that phase if you apply stage of transmit so whatever traffic is going out from that interface or from the firewall because you can you know you can uh, there is a filter available in the packet captures if you want to apply specific captures you know or if you want to keep loose captures I mean if you want to apply it on all entire firewall so traffic going out from the firewall will be captured in transmit stage then comes your firewall stage which says that whatever traffic is entering and getting processed as per the packet flow that is ingress stage, flow lookup, slow path, fast path, app ID, then CTD, egress stage and then going out. So the complete processed packet will be captured inside the firewall and drop stage will capture your packets which are getting dropped by the firewall during this firewalling stage. So these are the four types of different stages we have in Palo Alto firewall. So uh, from here you can manage your filters, right? Let's say you can add uh, ingress interface as uh, Ethernet 1 by 2 
as per my topology and uh, source ip will be 10.2.2.7 right destination could be anything source port could be anything destination port could be anything and uh, protocol let's say uh, tcp right so this is for client to server because in this firewall uh, your packet captures are not bidirectional right so you need to make them bidirectional or uh, let's say we are doing capture for support.cisco.com it is not working because we have created the rule so if you try to hit uh, support.cisco.com it will not work as per our configured policy so here you are getting this web page right but let's say when we have not turn on the decryption we were not getting that web blocked web page right so in that case how can you troubleshoot you know you don't know uh, whether the uh, traffic is getting blocked or not so what you can do is you can just simply identify the uh, destination ip address of your uh, server so support.cisco.com so the destination ip is coming out to be 72.163 so destination ip 72.163 so 4.154 okay and uh, destination port it will be 443 right this is client to server similarly you need to add server to client so server to client it will hit the outside interface source will be 72.163.4.154 and uh, you know it will hit your natted ip because we are doing the source translation when my traffic is going out so when it is hitting the ingress interface it is coming like this but when it is coming from the outside it will hit my natted ip because we are doing the source translation so you need to take care of these things right these are very minute things which you need to take care source port will become 443 protocol will be 6 so these captures are not bidirectional right you need to create it so this is these are the filters which we have created now you can turn turn on the filtering then this options is pre parse match so if your packets are getting dropped due to parsing error so you won't be able to see that until or unless you turn it on so if you if you want to see any packet is getting dropped due to parsing error so you can turn it on and it will show you that you know because of corrupted headers and all that stuff packet has been dropped so if you click on add now you can add the stage so let's say I want to add drop stage. I want to see if my packets are getting dropped for this particular source and destination. You can also define your packet count and byte counts. You will get the warning when you're going to turn it on the packet captures. Reason being that, uh, you know, uh, this is very CPU intensive process. So it always gives, you know, warning that it is only for troubleshooting purpose. Do not leave it open. So now we are doing the capturing if you refresh uh, right now there is no web page coming so let's go incognito and try to visit support.cisco.com and here you can refresh and see if uh, any file is getting generated for drop stage So website is getting blocked but we don't have any drop file created so it means our packet captures the filters which we have created is not matching so if I will verify so you can go to URL filtering and you will be able to verify the exact destination IP support.cisco.com this is the ip and destination is like redirect so do not resolve the host name 
okay so url is same 72.163.4.154 and application web web your web browsing okay uh let me add columns here if i wanna see source port and destination port as well NAT IP two port right and uh, what else you wanna see so you can add these uh, you know columns packet capture okay so two port is 443 packet capture no so we are not able to capture the packet for this right okay uh, let me just go back to the packet capture okay now we have it so might be slowly it is processing the traffic so if i will now turn it off and if you download this file so you can analyze it right how firewall is doing the inspection and similarly you can capture the packet flow as well whatever we have studied so far if your security action is denied then how do you see the packets are getting termin i mean you know dropped by the firewall client is receiving the reset or not and all that stuff so you can verify that with the help of the wireshark captures so you can see that we have captured only these packets acknowledge 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 right so right away it is getting blocked so we are not able to capture the entire stream okay only acknowledge packet so tcp three-way handshake and all that we are not able to capture it okay it is only giving us the acknowledge packets which are which we are able to see right so if you want to see the complete packet flow so what you can do is you can modify uh, your packet uh, you know uh, filters so you can remove this destination ip so i just want to see uh, my source making connection to this destination uh, on this destination port right source could be anything and uh, destination ip will be reverse ip will be hitting to my uh, outside interface source port will this right click ok and uh, we will see what traffic is coming to my firewall stage right what traffic i am receiving in my on my interfaces what traffic i am transmitting out from the firewall so all these details we can capture so let's delete this file and start the capture again and then initiate some traffic so let's visit uh, cisco.com let visit wikipedia dot org and let's refresh so you can see we have captured the data right similarly if you go to traffic logs so you will be able to see so dns 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 So DNS resolution is happening, right? And then we are making connection with the websites, web browsing, web browsing, allow, 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 right? And if you see 
Cisco is up. Wikipedia is loading. Right. So if I remove this, I will be able to see the destination IP. So this is Cisco IP 72, you know. So on port 80, on port 443, we are making the connections. Now if you go to packet capture and you can stop the packet capture because we have the data available now. So just first download the firewall, receive, transmit and then drop so if i will open it up so file size is big these are like 2.5 mb 2.5 mb this is almost 2 mb okay so first i will open it up receive file but i have received so these are the packets i have received you can see this is the Cisco website. Then uh, send packet to this 8.8. .8. So with Cisco website, you can you know apply the TCP stream, and you can see we have sent this in. Then we have received the acknowledgement. Right, so uh, here you won't be able to see it's in an acknowledgement in a fashion because the IP is getting natted, right? So you can see uh, Cisco is replying to this IP address, right? So that's the reason I have put that natted IP here. So my machine is sending the packets. Here I'm sending the packet to Cisco, right? but uh, i'm getting acknowledgement on this if you follow this stream here you can see sin sin act on this ip right then acknowledgement then server hello and all that stuff so we can follow this stream so when you try to follow it will only give you this source because you know traffic is getting natted so we won't be able to see the complete stream so you just need to analyze it from here itself right this is the drawback of nat you won't be able to do the complete analysis and uh, eventually this is receive as well right so you are getting uh, you are able to see able to see what packets you are receiving and similarly this is like uh, transmit what packets you are transmitting out from the firewall right so on that particular interface so if you want to see bi-directional so you just open it up your firewall file and it will give you the bi-directional input that uh, this is this in you are sending then you are getting the acknowledgement so if i will try to follow but due to NAT, you know, the same problem. I mean, in the firewall stage as well, I won't be able to see that. Okay, so let's try to understand from here. You can see I'm sending this send packet to this. Then I'm getting the acknowledgement. Then TCP three-way handshake is done. Then client hello, right? And similarly, this is the Cisco website. I'm trying to make connection with. Then Cisco is responded back with Synac, right? Then I have sent it the acknowledgement. So Cisco is responding to my natted IP. Then I have sent my acknowledgement. Then I must have sent this client hello packet here, right? Then Cisco must have sent the server hello. So if I will apply the filter, okay, let's do one thing, apply the filter of Cisco IP. dot 163.4.185 right so you can see sin synac acknowledgement client hello then sin synac client hello so we don't have complete captures available here right so this is how it is working and then this is the another connection with another website. Then this is another connection with another website. So this is how you take the Wireshark captures and then do your analysis. Okay. And you can see how much traffic is getting processed by the firewall. 
and it depends upon the filters the filters you are applying on the firewall these are very important how specific filters you are applying right since i have not pasted any destination ip it is picking up all the destinations so the more specific filters you are going to have the more clear packet captures you will see right and you can do your analysis in a better way okay so last file was uh, drop right so that drop file uh, let me open it up so just to see what traffic is getting dropped so you can see these retransmissions to cisco these are getting dropped right and connection reset and all that you know these packets were dropped okay so that's it i mean this is how we apply the packet captures and we do our analysis these are the four critical stages pre parsing we turn it on when we when we are not able to see the packet captures in these stages you know when you are not able to see any file in that stage we turn it on and we see if any packet is getting dropped due to parsing error and the more specific filters you are going to create the more uh, specific results you will get in your captures okay so that's it thanks for watching we will connect in the next lecture